Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about the third stage in AES each round, that is mixed columns. In our last class, we discussed about substitution byte and shift rows. So please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. In our last class, we discussed that substitution byte, that is byte level substitution. But actually, we need bit level substitutions, bit level mixing should be needed in order to provide confusion and diffusion. So that bit level mixing is done here to provide the confusion and diffusion. First understand the process, at the end you are going to get the idea of how it is providing confusion and diffusion because of bit level mixing. If you have previous basics, it is very very easy to understand the concept. So now, in order to do the mixed columns, this is done based on the matrix multiplication using GF of 2 power 8 multiplication and addition. So here, let's take the, the, the second, the output which we got from the second stage, we call this one B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B6. This is how the state looks like, means 4 by 4 matrix. This should be multiplied by this constant matrix just normal constant matrix multiplication means take the row multiply by column take the row multiply by the column that is how we are going to do multiplication here with example you will get good clarity let's take this instead of this b0 b1 take this 87 6e 46a6 f2 4c e7 8 8c like this you are going to take this input that come from the second stage is taken as input to the third stage. This multiplied by this, you are going to get this output. How this output is generated? Let's understand the multiplication process. Take the first column, multiply by first row. You are going to get the first element. Take the first column, multiply by this, you are going to get the second element. Take the first column, multiply by this, you are going to get the third element. First column, fourth row, you are going to get the last element. This is how matrix multiplication is done. Let's understand the multiplication for single, the first one remaining, you can practice. Take the first column, multiply by this row, means 0, 2 multiplied by 87, 87. Here, 0, 2 means it's a hexadecimal number. 87 is also hexadecimal number. So 0, 2 multiplied by 87 addition, 0, 3 multiplied by 6e, 0, 3 multiplied by 6e addition. Here addition means XOR operation. We have to go with the GF of 2 power 8 XOR operation. Addition operation means XOR. Here multiplication means GF of 2 power 8 multiplication. Similarly, 46 4, 6 multiplied by 1 which is 4, 6 that's why it is 4, 6 addition a6 multiplied by 1 which is a6. Now you know what this addition means. First we need to identify 0, 2 multiplied by 87. How this uh, gf of 2 power 8 multiplication is done? 0, 2, 8, 7. 8, 7 means if you write it in 8, 1, double, 0, 1, triple, 0 is 8. 7 means 0, triple, 1. This means x power 7 plus x square plus x plus 1 in the polynomial form. Similarly, 0, 2 means all zeros. Next one is 0, 0, 1, 0 means x. Multiply these two means x multiplied by x power 7 plus x square plus x plus 1, which you are going to get x power 8 plus x cube plus x square plus x. This is in the form of a above x power 7 in the polynomial equation gf of 2 power 8 the highest polynomial degree should be x power 7 if you want to bring it back you have to divide this using the irreducible polynomial the irreducible polynomial x power 8 plus x cube plus x square plus x this one divided by this is the irreducible polynomial these things this irreducible polynomial which we discussed in our last class so x power 8, x power 8. If you want to do division, take this as it is. In order to take this as it is, multiply by 1. This, x, this entire thing should be multiplied by 1. You are going to get this. So x power 8 plus x power 4 plus x cube plus x plus 1. 
so do minus minus means here gf of 2 minus means xor operation so exporate exporate cancel export x cube x cube cancel so remaining thing is x power 4 plus x square plus 1 xx cancel this is the remainder value this is our output when you multiply 0 to multiplied by 87 87 so x power 4 means in place of x power 4 place 1 x square means 1 in place of 1 means x power 0 is equal to 1 this is the byte so if you multiply 0 to multiplied by 87 this is the byte you got similarly if you multiply this to this is what you are going to get 4 6 multiplied by 1 4 6 a 6 multiplied by 1 a 6 do xor of all this you are going to get 4 7 the output is 4 7 so first column multiplied by first row you are going to get 47 similarly first column multiplied by second row you are going to get 3 7 this is what we are going to do in mix columns during the encryption stage the same thing if you want to take it reverse this in place of this matrix you have to place the inverse of this matrix this is what the inverse of the matrix exactly opposite we are going to do see in the during the confusion and diffusion what we have discussed we are discussing that you have to one bit in the cipher text is going to depend on multiple bits on the input see here matrix multiplication means on all this column it is going to divide it is going to depend that is how mixing columns provides the confusion and diffusion in our AES hope you understand how this mix columns are going to work if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you